गोवर्धर विष्णु शशिवर्ण चतुर्भुज प्रसन्न वदन ध्यानोपात महागणपत नम ध्यामोधवलावकुंठन पती मंदस्मितश्रीमुखी वात्सल्यामृतवर्षिणी सुमधुर संकर्तनालापिनी श्यामी मधुसी अमृतानंदात्मकाश्वरी ओम अमृतेश्वरी नम ओम अमृतेश्वरी नम ओम अमृतेश्वरी नम अखंडमंडलाकार व्या चराचर तत्पदम दर्शित तस्म श्री गुरव नम अज्ञानतिरांध से ज्ञानाजनशलाखया चक्षुर
ಶ್ರೀ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಹರಿ ಓಂ ಧ್ಯಾಯ ಮೋಧವಳ ವಕುಂಠನವತಿ ತೇಜೋಮಯಂ ನಷ್ಟಕೀ ದಿಗ್ಧಾಪಾಂಗವಿಲೋಕಿನಿ ಭಗವತಿ ಮಂದಸ್ಮಿತಶ್ರೀಮುಖಿ ವಾತ್ಸಲ್ಯಾಮೃತವರ್ಷಿಣಿ ಸುಮಧುರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನಾಲಾಪಿನಿ ಶ್ಯಾಮ ಗೀಮತಸಿಕ್ತಸೂಕ್ತಿ ಅಮೃತಾನಂದಾತ್ಮಿಕೀಶ್ವರೀ ಓಂ ಅಮೃತೇಶ್ವರಿ ನಮಃ ಗುಂ ಗುರುಭ್ಯೋ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಗಂ ಗಣಪತಿ ನಮಃ ಮಹಾ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಮೈ ಇನ್ಫಿನಿಟ್ ಪ್ರೋಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ಸ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಸೀಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಮೈ ಸದ್ಗುರು ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾತಾ ಅಮೃತಾನಂದಮಯ ದೇವಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಟೀಚರ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಲ್ ಮದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೈ ಹಂಬಲ್ ಪ್ರೊನಾಮ್ಸ್ ಟು ಆಲ್ ಅಮ್ಮಾಸ್ ಬಿಲವ್ ಚಿಲ್ಡ್ರನ್ ಲಿಸನಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಸತ್ಸಂಗ್ today we have chosen a very important topic festivals utsavam we call it in our languages festivals it is very very important topic in our country in bharat in bharat in india we have so many festivals for us amas children amas birthday is very very important guru purnima is very very important and we have onam etc on which there is a lot of the fun and activity lot of joy festivals are meant to bring us all together as amma's children as god's children as one vast family not only human beings all beings as one family that is the main purpose of festivals we'll discuss more and more what we mean by festivals amma always used to say that amma is never not interested in celebrating amma's birthday but she allows us to, to celebrate her birthday because she in first place she wants to see all her children together and secondly lot of charitable activities are pr- the done on that particular day we we, we know all that samma so uses her birthday to do lot of charitable activities on the on that day that we know very well actually amma need uh, did not amma uh, we need not come together to so, 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 so that amma can see us wherever amma uh, the, wherever we are amma can see us but we when we come together we understand we realize that we are all amma's beloved children as one vast universal family it is for us to see that we are all we are all one we they see we call it we have a, we have no political party but one of amma's the devotee was saying we we can call it abc party a a b c party means amma's beloved children amma's blessed children that is our party so we are all together so let us see let us go more deep in together the we have to let us discuss one very very important point the point is the power of human thought the power of human thought how collective positive human thoughts can create a heaven on earth and how collective negative human thoughts can create a hell on earth it is for us amma's children it is for us human beings to create a heaven on earth or a hell on earth we can we'll see one or two very good examples a certain king went to his guru and asked the guru o oh guru please tell me whether there is a heaven and hell where is heaven and where is hell so when the king asked this question the guru looked at the king and said fools like you will not understand if even if i tell you this made the king very very angry the the guru had called me a fool he became very very angry he took out his sword and he said i will kill you how dare you call me a fool then the guru calmly replied they, they it was his you no know, the his face was ferocious he was very very angry and the guru calmly replied this is hell 
because he was had completely lost his peace of mind he was completely out of control guru said this is hell and immediately the king understood he put back his sword immediately he knelt down he prostrated and he he told his guru oh guru please forgive me for my for my grave mistake i will never do it again and he bowed down and he sat down and quietly for some time after some time after some time the the atmosphere became very very peaceful and the when the king slowly opened his eyes the guru said this is heaven so when our mind is very very angry out of control and we are very very the, the very very perturbed we are very very agitated that is called as hell and when we are extremely peaceful then that state of mind is the real heaven so the purana say that we have we, there are there is swarga loka above and patala loka below hell that they are all there but the our question is can we make a can we create a heaven on earth that is our question and the festivals are mainly meant for this so the in the in amma's presence the real festival happens Gen- generally when people go for festivals they put on the best dress they make themselves very very attractive so that they are noticed by other people when i was back at home in my previous family i heard my elders saying that the, the girls of marriageable age they are very dressed fashionably and they are taken to festivals so that they are, they can be noticed unlike today today girls are go, go, girls go out and to college and they work also they are noticed but in the olden days girls are always at home they are, they are not noticed so in festivals they are noticed they are, though they are they dressed very fashionably and they are taken out nothing wrong it is it is very good there there's no the way the girls can be uh, seen by the others so the the point is in fest usually in festivals we we want us we want i want myself to be noticed by others each one of us want to be noticed by others i try to make my presence felt this is the common human tendency but we are taught that this personality this person is is a false entity this is asat so when we chant asathoma sadgamaya this entire person is asat it is it's a it's a false personality it is a impermanent nashwaram personality so therefore what is the real the what is real it amma is real so in amma's festival the real asatoma sadgamaya happens that is from the false or from the the what do you call it from the impermanent to the permanent i told in amma's presence i totally forget myself and i am totally focused on amma it is i we can say that it is only in amma's festival that asatoma sadgamaya really happens we are totally we forget the asat and we are completely focused on the sat that is the one of the main purpose of festival the i totally becoming i totally forgetting myself therefore we can see that in amma's divine presence we have collective positive divine thoughts and then we are creating a heaven in amrutapuri or wherever amma in the branches when we when amma goes to branches they are also wherever amma is there we we devotees we create a heaven because of our collective positive thoughts divine thought that purifies and makes the atmosphere peaceful and joyful this is what we have to understand you can the the there are different types of you know, groups and like like when when we were in school and college we were, when we the when the when we we we, we win the championship dis, district level we win championship in the, the in in athletic athletics or, or sports football etc we we all join together and we are on the road with our with our cup and shield and we are all the happily shouting 
that is collective collectively we are joyful that is but that is very limited joy only because we have the it's a small group because we have opponents in amma's ashram when we are chanting we have no opponents we have no enemies we want everybody we are all one we know that feeling uh, the uh, our, our example when when a political leader wins there also we can see they are all celebrating there are also the collective joyful thoughts are there but that also is, that goes also very limited because there also there are op- op- opponents are there very limited joy whereas in in amrutapuri when we chant matarani ki jai we include the entire human beings not only the entire human beings we include the entire human race that is what we have to understand and therefore the, the asatoma melting this unreal this nashwaram personality this what is happening here i, I can we can we have uh, the two or three very good bhajans we, we can we I, i will sing here the first bhajan i happened to hear was many years back in uh, mumbai there was a, there was a benefit show program by anup jalota so he sang one song that that was the first time i heard that in that hey sela ge lagan that was the song and that there is a very beautiful verse he sings rana ne vishudhiya mano amrit phiya mera sagar me sarita samane lage so he sings that the the for mera bai mera bai's husband was very angry because she was mixing with the common people so he gave her poison so when she looked at the, the poison was blue in color and when she saw the poison the blue color she remembered her krishna beloved krishna and she drank the poison rana ne vishuddhiya mano amrit phiya rana gave her poison but she drank amrita and the poison could not kill her and it is he says mera sagar me sarita samane lage mera just as the river totally merges into the sea in the same way the mera bai she totally merged into her krishna she entered the temple of sri krishna and then after that she was never seen when the devotee sent to the temple she was never not seen she had already merged with her lord that is a very important thing to other the point we had the another point which swamiji amrasura panji always is sing with other the amma amma uh, and swamiji sings is that it is come goes like this usually swamiji sings that nin kadakshatinde karunya tennalil ജ്ഞാനലിഞ്ഞില്ലാതെയായി ജ്ഞാനലിഞ്ഞില്ലാതെയായി അമൃതേശ്വരി അതാ സോങ് നിൻ കടാക്ഷത്തിൻ്റെ കാരുണ്യ തന്നലിൽ ഞാൻ അലിഞ്ഞില്ലാതെയായി ഐ ഇൻ ഇൻ യോർ ഗ്രേസ് ഇൻ യോർ ഇൻഫിനി ഗ്രേസ് കടാക്ഷം യോർ ബ്ലെസ്സിങ്സ് ഐ കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി മെൽറ്റിഡ് ഐ കംപ്ലീറ്റ്ലി മെൽറ്റഡ് ആൻഡ് ഐ ബിക്കേം വൺ വിത്ത് യു ആൻഡ് ദ ലേറ്റസ്റ്റ് സോങ് വിച്ച് വി ഹിയർ ഈസ് kab aaye ugavo din prabhu ji that song the shikrana song in there the, the, the this the bhajan concludes with sagar me jaise sarita mile tujh me gul mil jao me sagar me jaise sarita mile tujh me gul mil jao me i'm the so the, the when amma and swamiji they sing this bhajan they are singing that sagar me jaise sarita mile tujh me gul mil jao me just as the the same meaning just as the river totally merges into the sea when will i totally merge into you or oh krishna just make me completely merge into you so before coming to amma we have i have heard many talks so some of our acharyas one 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 of our acharyas he gives a very beautiful example of how we should be in society in when we are in some party or wherever we are in in society uh, he uses uh, the example of salt he says let us be like salt salt the, uh, the word, why does he use that example that they, they say he say the first example is the salt when we when we put when we add salt not only in curry even in paisam we add little salt just just taste paisam without salt 
you'll see something is missing. See, in Paisam also a little salt is added. So, first he says, right proportion. Do not mix too much. Do not mix too much. Do not, do the, do not involve the... Uh, that means that the, the, when we go, do not try to boss or do not, do not dictate. Be very, very humble. That is the meaning. A right proportion means, do not, do, the, they say the best way is, try to make, try to work without making your presence felt. Can you see what Amma is doing now? Sitting here, she is constructing a bed in Delhi with so many thousands of beds. Remember the example of Kurma Vatara. Bhagavan Vishnu, he came as a tortoise, tortoise, and when the Devas and the Asuras were churning, he quietly came and from in the, in the sea, he was supporting the Mandara Parvatam. Without being noticed, he was working quietly. So that kind of work quietly without making your presence felt. So usually when I have tendency, I want to see others me uh, the working. I, I, I want to see uh, the others when I am working. So that is uh, nothing wrong in that, but we are, as Amma's children, we try to work quietly. That is the meaning of the, the, the like, be like salt, the right proportion, work quietly. And secondly, the salt, it does not stay in one place, the salt completely mixes. So in the same way, let us not, the, the salt is everywhere in the curry or in the paisa. It is not in one particular place. So in the same way, the, let us not form, when we come to Amma Sahasranam, let us not form small groups. See, we, the, let us not be circle inspectors. You know, circle inspectors, we have small circles, we have small groups and like, like airtight compartments. We will not come out of that group nor will we allow anybody to enter our group. So this is in, in some place we can see that. So let us not be, let us not form small. We are one, one big group, as we said, Amma's blessed children, like salt. Mix the, let us talk to everybody, let, let us mix with everybody, but let us, not, let us not get attached to anybody. And that is the second meaning. Then in the third, the, 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 can I repeat, the, nobody will say the curry is very tasty because of salt. Nobody will say that. But if you, you put salt every day for, for, for six days, from Monday to Saturday, you put salt in the, in the curry, they will say that the curry is very tasty. But on Sunday, you do not, don't put salt. They will say curry is not tasty. Nobody will say the curry is tasty because of salt. So the presence of salt is not seen, but its absence is seen. Can you understand the important point? The presence of, nobody notices the presence of salt, but everybody notices the absence of salt. So in the same way, we work so quietly and so everything, but so nobody knows we are, we are, uh, we are, we are doing a lot of work, but so in one day when we are absent, this is my God, so a lot of things are not done. Then they see this, oh my God, he is not here today. That way it should be. I hope you understand what I meant. Therefore, let us, let us always remember that the fest in festival, with the fashionable dresses, lot of delicious food, we go, there are so many stalls in the festival, we visit all the stalls, lot of merry-making, joyful, we have the, we come to festivals to be, become, to, to be joyful, to, to forget everything and be joyful. But, but at the same time, we have to understand that the, the let us not dilute festivals. Let us not forget God. It is the, the, so the important point of any festival is joint prayer. So they, they say it, is, it can, can be Laksha Archana or Kodi Archana. We, the, we come to the temple also and we sit in the temple and pray that is very, very important. So we have to, we have to understand the, this very important point that the temple which is nearest to your house is the most important temple for you. The temple which is 
nearest my house is the most important temple for me so neglecting the temples in our neighborhood we go to other tem at our temples it does not so much purpose of course we go to import, we, we neglect the the, the ne our nearby temple because a small temple we see we think that in a small temple with the god is small and in a big huge temple big temple god is big it's nothing like that whether the temple is small or temple is big they have to understand this the same divine being resides in the smallest temple and the biggest temple like tirupati or guruvayur or our ayappa that we have to understand and therefore on on a on a holiday on a sunday or maybe on a friday for lalita shastra namam etc they sometimes they prefer friday we gather together and we sit together and when we we pray together like for like for like for example in our the at home in the evening at dusk sandhya we switch off our tvs and all these family members they come into the into a puja room we sit, we sit, sit down and we start chanting those chantings can purify our entire house so just as the our the chanting the family chantings of the family can purify the for the puja room and our house in the same way the temple in our neighborhood is our is the is the puja room of the entire neighborhood the, for the, the 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 entire area where the temple is so therefore a temple is a big puja room where all the sur surrounding the temples in the surrounding areas they all come together and sit in in sit in the temple temple hall and they when they chant the entire area is purified and let it so let us remember this very important thing that with the i was talking about creating a heaven on earth and avoiding a hell on earth we are so purify the collective positive thoughts should come from our temples so let us let us always remember when we come to temples let us come be be very very humble be full of devotion let us sit together and when we pray together the purification of the area should start from the temple amma's important question is can we create a rama rajyam on earth not present that is amma's question the, this is the best way pure the, the rama rajyam means where it is all the peaceful ayo ayodhya means yuddha means conflict or war and ayodhya means where there is no conflict they have in one voice they will say shri ram is our king shri ram is our god for shri ram they all unite they were no so so many small groups they had the, they were no enemies in ayodhya every one of every one of the ayodhyans they were they were full of devotion for shri ram so that is what we call ayodhya so ram rajya means amritapuri is also an ayodhya in here we in one voice we will say amma is our mata rani so the the purification purification of the area the we should start from te in temples and other places of worship like ashrams so in, uh, the, there when we really chant in a group we create very very positive thoughts energy and it says uh, they say utsavam means overflowing we the i told us many times swami ji also had mentioned in some of his talks that utsavam utsavam means it is with the 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 mantra vibrations the fill the temple hall and it overflows to the neighboring areas so this is this is a this is what he call as the utsavam let us say, let us always remember this and therefore in places of in in temples in in amr started beginning from amrtapuri from our from our brahma amrtapuri our brahmasthanams and in all other temples in our where wherever where we we stay the temple nearest to us we assemble together and we pray together we create a divine atmosphere and that that divine atmosphere it it overflows the temple so the the 
the temple hall and they spread to the surrounding areas that is completely purified. In this way, when, we, on, when on, the, on auspicious days, all over the country, now it is festival season. I am talking because this is the festival season. Now, the, within two days, we have a very, very important, it's not actually festival, it is a big, great remembrance. We have our Republic Day, Republic, in India's Republic Day we have, there is also a great celebration of our, not only our achievements, but our remembrance and our gratitude and uh, the, of the, the gratitude of the great, our, our ancestors, our, the, the great heroes who have given up their lives to, to, to protect our country. Let us also learn that spirit of patriots and the Desha Bhakti from them. The love for the country. Let us start with the country, then we come to the for us, it is not just the country. They say we have the, we have five, we have five mothers. The, we have the, the five mothers we have each one of us. One is called the Deha Mata, one who gave us the who gave us the body is called Deha Mata. Then we have Go Mata, we have the cow. Cow is our mother, we, uh, cow is our mother. Then we have Desha Mata, then we have Bhu Mata and we have Veda Mata. So for these five mothers, the, 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 we worship these five mothers so the, for their the, the important point, the, the important, the most important quality which we learn from our mother is she is the the, the closest relation, the closest relationship to us is our mother. I mean in general, sometimes it may be for the, the girls, it may be the father. In general, Mother is the, from, from mother we learn this most wonderful lesson to love, give and expect nothing in return from the children. This is the quality we learn from our mother. She is because we drink our mother's milk, we, we have this quality of giving and not expecting anything in return. So to both them, the, Go Mata, the mother cow also, she takes very little, little grass, some little hay and some little, that's all. So she gives us milk, so milk is so valuable, so much she gives. So they, she also takes, takes the minimum and gives the maximum. Then we come to Desha Mata, Republic, Republic Day. On Republic Day, we are all Indians, we are all Indians, are our, my brothers and sisters. India is my country, all Indians are my brothers and sisters, my the mind expands little more. So the, that is the desha, desha patriotism. So on Republic Day, let us remember with gratitude the all our all the patriots, all the all our ancestors, or our grandfathers who laid down their lives to protect, to do, to defend our country. And let us learn that that uh, the. The quality of patriots, patriots and Desha Bhakti. Desha, the, India is my country, she is my mother. But let us not stop there. The slowly, we should, the, we, the, it, it doesn't stop there. We consider the mother earth, Bhumi Devi, also, also as our, as our mother. And therefore, all human beings are part of my family. That is what we call as the, the Vasudeva Kudumbam. Loka, Samastha, Sukuna Bhavantu. The, 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 or the entire, the, the, the entire world, the Bhumi Devi, because Bhumi Devi is my mother, all human beings are part of my family. And when, we, when I look upon Veda Mata as my, uh, the, as my mother, Veda Mata, she teaches me, then the, she, she, I, call, I call her Veda Mata, I, I call her mother because it is the mother who will accept me even when I am really dirty. Even when I'm very dirty, my mother will not, my mother will, will not reject me. Even when I'm dirty, she will take me, she will purify me. In the same way, Vedas, the, like all mothers, Vedas, she accepts the, even the worst sinner. She accepts every one of us, all human, all human beings, because she sees the divinity. She teaches us that the, the divinity is in every living being. So our mind expands the maximum. This is what we mean by festival. The mental expansion is what we mean by the real festival. That is what we have to learn now. And therefore, the, the festivals are meant for enjoyment, certainly. But enjoyment is not the only purpose of festivals. 
we have to come to the temple and we have to sit and do a lot of the prayers and chantings also that is the most important part of the festival the, that I, what i meant is and unfortunately out of our the amma is all amma every day amma makes our little boy says bodham ad bodham so that is to, to make remember to make to, to remind us that our most important call we are what we have developed is bodham bodham means awareness what we are doing what i am what i am what i am doing my actions my speech my thoughts what was happening everything i am really aware and therefore let me be aware when i am going to festival the festivals like for like when i example i can do from my own experience when i am singing sometimes my, my the, the, the our mind goes to our throat we sometimes they for the singer they forget the, the even when they are singing say, the devotional songs they forget god and they are the the their voice their mind goes to the music so when in, in in here we should always remember we have the here devotion is more important than music whenever whenever my mind goes from devotion when my mind goes to music i should immediately become aware and they can bring bring back my mind from music to devotion when there is revolt devotion music will follow you that's important then and that's that's what we mean by let us not dilute the, the festivals the let us it's not just merry making so in this if the that is the important point the one example i can give you the in the uh, the tamil nadu karnataka border in this the, there is a community called badukas if i remember the, the correct word they the, that family they have a very beautiful dance they 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 see they, they the form a circle one group will be sing, singing and the other group will be dancing they usually come to coimbatore for a mass program and then they sing and dance so it is it, it, it is a spiritual dance they completely forget themselves so what happened was when so the, when they start dancing some of our devotees also joined them amma said no don't join them come stay away because you know the they were they were the when the when they were dancing they were completely involved they were completely deeply immersed the immersed in god so after after some time then we also learned that that art how when we when we dance how to, like mirabai for example best example is mirabai when she is dancing and singing she is there she loses body consciousness amma also we lose body consciousness and go our, our our mind goes to god that is the purpose of the that is the that is what we have to achieve in festivals so usually actually bharatna bharatnatyam and all dances are meant if you go to a real teacher if the, the teacher is a good really good teacher and the student also is really good the teacher through the bharatnatyam she will help you go beyond body consciousness that is the purpose of the dance and music also when we when we go to a real teacher the teacher through music i completely forget myself and i go to god that is the purpose of music and dance dance and music are ways to reach god very simple ways to reach god but we had in the presence of amma it really happens in the onam 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 festival like in a festival on onam when when we jump and dance that on that day we really forget ourselves and we are always focused on our amma that is the real music that is the real dance that is what i mean by let us not dilute festivals that's the meaning i was talking about krodhalayam with when dasharatha came to the palace and he asked where is kaigai he was told that kaigai is in krodhalayam in the olden day they say that when the you know in, in, even in palaces or even houses there is a small special room which calls as krodhalayam when if 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 a person is angry they will say you go and sit in that krodhal krodhal means a place where where you, where you go and sit when when you are angry because my anger if i if, I, if I'm my ang if i am angry my anger can contaminate it can the, the it can make this the, this my surroundings impure and therefore don't make this imp, don't make your surroundings impure by by your 
negative vibrations, you go and sit in Krodhalayam. So Kaikei Kai Kai was sitting in Krodhalayam because she was angry. So the, 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 I hope you understand what mean Krodhalayam is. So we, no, the, now in, in this world, there is so much of competition. Uh, wherever we, we see, they, this, the, there's a lot of comp the competition. When there is competition, when my mind is filled with that kind of thoughts, then I make the atmosphere impure. But in Amma's presence, in Amma's presence or wherever we are, when, when we are thinking of Amma, our poi, uh, then our thoughts uh, become very, very pure. So that way, the, instead of Krodhalayam, we can make this world a Shanthalayam, a, the Anandalayam, by our collective positive thoughts. This is what I mean, the, I meant to say. So usually we hear the, the when we, the, usually we say the, in the, the uh, from nine o'clock there will be cultural programs. Usually we hear the announcements when we are in call the wherever some wherever we go in, in the in colleges or the where here also we hear the we hear announcement after the night food from nine thirty there will be cultural programs. So we have to let us try to analyze what is what we mean we mean by cultural programs. So the culture means purification of the mind. So when we listen to music or when we witness a dance, just see the, any, the, any, the, any, the, any, the, any program which can create positive thought, any program which can create positive thoughts in my mind, that we can call it as a Cultural program. Because the culture means purific purification of the mind. Let us not con conf confuse cultural programs with entertainment programs. Most of our, our programs are only entertainment programs, and not cultural programs. Cultural programs means when we when we see that program, the best we should come out of us. The positive thought should come out of us. That is what we mean by cultural programs. And the one, one or two program, the points I will end. The, the let me see that, like Rasa Leela, for example, the, the the dance of Sri Bhagwan Krishna with the gopis. That it's called a Rasa Leela. That is a divine dance. Rasa Leela is a divine dance. Why I will tell you the Rasa Leela was Rasa Leela in Bhagavatam. The Rasa Leela, the, 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 the divine dance of Bhagavan Krishna with the gopis, that was narrated by Sedh Shuka. Shuka was a brahmachari. What does he you know about Rama, romance and love? Think. Shuka was in the highest state of Brahma, the, the God consciousness. Shuka was narrating Rasa Leela. And Shuka is a brahmachari. A uh, brahmachari will never, if, what does he know about uh, love and romance? Therefore, understand that Rasa the dance of Bhagavan Krishna and the gopis, they were, the, the dance was the, the for total, total merging of the individu individual with the God. They were completely God conscious. They were in the, the, they were in the highest state of God consciousness. They were in the highest state of uh, the Ananda, Paramananda completely without any body consciousness. Therefore, we have to understand just because Rasalila was narrated by a person like Sej Shuka, Sej Shuka was, was always in the highest state. He cannot narrate anything at the body level. Therefore, where, where, that, therefore when he narrated the Rasalila, it only means that Bhagwan Krishna and the gopis, they, that, that, that divine dance was a dance of the total merging of the Jivatma, the individual self, to the Paramatma. The total merging of the Jivatma, the total merging of the individual to the totality. That is Rasa Leela. It is not a romance. It is not the ordinary human love. This we have to understand. Again, come to Ramayana. We have to understand the, the true nature of Sri Rama. Sri Rama, when Sita was taken away by Ra Ravana, 
And when they reached the seashore, they, they, decide, they, they decided to find out Sita. Actually, there, there were two, two, two very strong individuals in the Vanaras. Hanuman was the strongest. Sugriva was also very, very strong. Actually, just think for a moment. It is Sugriva who was the who had the who was suffering from the pains of separation from his from his wife. With the Sankarpa Shakti, Sri Rama could have given lot of power to Sugriva. He could have called Sugriva and said, Sugriva, you you know the pain of separation from from the wife. You are, you, you know you are separate from us from your wife. You know the pain, just like me. Therefore, you go. Is it not? Why, he, why didn't he send Sugriva? Like Rama was feeling separated from his wife, it was Sugriva who was feeling unhappy because he is separate, separate from his wife. So why did, why did not Rama send Sugriva? Why did, why did he send Hanuman? Because the separation of Sri Rama and Sita is not a separation of husband and wife it is separation of the Jivatma from the Paramatma. It's separation of devotee from God. And Hanuman, Hanuman knows the pain of separation of the devotee from God. Therefore, Sri Ramji sent Hanuman and not Sugriva. If Sri Rama's, Sri Rama and the Sita, Sita Devi's love was human love, Sri Rama would have sent Sugriva. I hope it is clear because Sugriva was suffering from the pain of separation from his wife. Sri Rama would have sent Sugriva but he sent Hanuman because Sugriva did not know the pain of separation of the devotee from God. It was Hanuman who knows the pain of the devotee of separation from God and therefore so therefore, Sri, the Sri Ramji sent Hanumanji to find out Sita. Therefore, in festivals, we all come together and we always remember that in festivals, even though there is a lot of merrymaking, etc., a lot of, lot of delicious food, etc., we have to always remember that the coming for festivals is coming together and giving up of our individualities, totally surrendering to, surrendering to God and remembering there is God and God alone in this universe. God is everything. I am nothing. This remembrance and we are all part of God's family. We are all part of, we are all Amma's children. For this remembrance and totally surrendering ourselves to God. This is the, the purpose of festivals. This we have to understand. So let us remember that festivals are being together, the celebrating together, remembering Amma, totally forgetting ourselves, merging our the totally forget totally forgetting our individuality and totally merging ourselves to Amma's feet and remembering that we are all one vast universal God's family, Amma's family and let us with Amma's grace and blessings let us try to convert this earth into a heaven. Let us, con let us with Amma's grace let us try to convert the first, the, let us try to convert this the first Amritapuri into a Ramarajam and then slowly we expand. Let us try to convert this entire world into a Ramarajam, a world of peace, joy, brotherhood, prosperity, health and last but not the least, spirituality, devotion, devotion and surrender to God. Om Amrita Shirida Maha. Thank you so much Swamiji for sharing such deep and profound thoughts. We pray and hope that we don't just listen but implement it in our daily lives. From today's session, we have four important things to remember. Let's summarize them. Asatoma Sadgamaya. Let us pay attention to this first line of the Shanti Mantra which we chant every day. But we chant mostly mechanically. We do not dwell on the deeper essence of this mantra. Lead us 
from ignorance to the truth. Lead us from what is false to the truth. Let us take an example. We have a festival coming up. We go buy a new set of dress. We wear it. We go out. We want people to see us. We want people to appreciate us. It's all about us. The individuality is always there. This is where we need to identify what is the truth and what is false. There is only one place on this planet where we come face to face with the truth. And that's in our Amma's presence. We drop all the individuality, we drop all our masks in her presence. And it happens effortlessly. This is where the true meaning of Asatoma Satkamaya takes shape. We are Asat and Amma is Sat. The next point to remember is the power of human thought. Collective negative thoughts can create hell on earth. It can create an agitative and disturbing atmosphere. Look at what's happening around us. We alone are responsible for what is happening. At the same time, collective positive thoughts can create heaven on earth. We don't have to go anywhere else to witness this. Just look what's happening in Amrutapuri. Collective meditation, collective prayers, collective chantings, all this create heaven on earth. And we are witness to all this. The essence of all this is that we lose our individuality. During festivals, we go to temples, we eat a lot of prasadam, we wear new dress, we participate in different cultural activities, singing, dancing, drama. Here, I is present more than God. This is exactly what needs to be changed. We need to develop our intelligence and understand the difference between what an entertainment program is and what a cultural program is. Entertainment program engages the senses and it creates different kinds of feelings in us. Whereas a cultural program creates a positive feeling within us. Swamiji mentioned something significant in the last talk. The most wonderful festival Swamiji has ever witnessed was the Amrita Shri program which reached out to its members and also to those affected in the Kerala floods. The aid package had grocery kits, clothes and financial assistance. When all the ashramites and residents came together along with our beloved Amma in packing all the clothes and food materials, that was a real festival. That was one of the most beautiful festivals Swamiji had ever witnessed. There is a saying in Sanskrit, Swasmai Swalpam Samajaya Sarvasvam A little bit for yourself and everything for others. During the Amrita Shri program, we witnessed that all individuality was kept aside and the hands were busy serving others. This is the spirit we need to take into celebrating festivals. Let us learn from this grand example. Om Amrateshwari Eva.